Now we're going to go over contouring and highlighting. When you place your highlight, you want to go right through the center, up on the forehead. We're using a foundation shade that's two shades lighter than Olivia's natural shade. We're going to go down the center of the nose, and I like to create a triangle just below the eye so that we're highlighting the center of her face and just creating kind of a glow. So we're going to create a little triangle and this also helps to hide any dark circles if you have them. So we've placed our highlighter right through the center, down the slope of the nose, and triangles on the cheek. Now what you want to do is just blend that in. So we have our nice highlights all ready to go before we place our contour. And again, I'm just using the foundation brush. to prevent any sort of streaks or lines and it gives you a really beautiful finish. Okay, so we're gonna finish this side. Get to the end. So just blend both sides in. Now we've completed our highlighting. So for our contour, we're going to use an angle brush and we're just going to use a matte bronzer. So what I like to do, when you're placing the contours on your cheek, you want to follow the cheek around and place the contour where the cheek starts to curve under. You want to make sure that you're not below the cheekbone or above, right where the bone starts to curve under. So we're just going to place our contour there. You can turn your hand towards me. And we're going to do just a little bit on the slope of her nose. And then you blend in. And you want to make sure to blend your product really well. And then I like to place a little bit of bronzer where your, the sun would naturally hit your face. So just right around the eyes. And with the contouring and highlighting, this is also a great trip to use if you want to hide something that you're not crazy about. So if for larger foreheads you can shade all the way across to help diminish that if it's something that you don't like. It's a great trick just to hide what you don't like. So now we have our contouring on and I'm actually going to use just any shade of blush that you like and I'm just going to put a little on the apples of the cheeks. You don't want to cover all of your highlight that you just placed so just place this slightly just on the apples. And I like to place a little bronzer on the jawline. Okay. Make sure everything is blended and your contouring and highlighting is done.